thank you very much, uh, Yogi. I will see how I can share my screen. Here we go. Can you see my screen? Yes. Great. Great. Okay. Great. So, uh, first of all, um, uh, hi and welcome to everybody from all around the globe, wherever you are um, at this point. Um, yeah, and welcome to the presentation of our master's program at Heidelberg University in Communication and Society in Ibero America. Uh, my name is Marta Rutka. I'm the program coordinator. Um, I will present the program to you, and I'm very happy to answer all your questions um, in the Q&A session. But also, you're very welcome to uh, contact me afterwards um, if you're interested in the program, of course. And before uh, we start right away, uh, thanks to the uh, My German University team for the great organization of those um, webinars, which are always um, very um, informative and well organized. So let's just jump right away into the program. Um, I will present uh, to you the uh, program in master's degree in communication and society in Ibero-America. Uh, it takes place at Heidelberg University at the Heidelberg Center for Ibero-American Studies. And it's about uh, studying the role of communication um, and what uh, the role of communication uh, plays in the Ibero-American societies. Uh, from an interdisciplinary perspective. So it's also a highly interdisciplinary uh, program. And um, reading the title or hearing the title, you might ask what's um, behind uh, this uh, program. So first of all, it's a regional studies program because it treats uh, topics that are related to a region, uh, to Ibero-America. Ibero-America um, for us is all the Spanish and Portuguese speaking countries and, all, um, and also um, in the American continent, but also in Europe, but also all the contact areas, like for example, um, the US. And secondly, um, this regional studies program has a strong um, thematic focus. It focuses on communication and specifically in uh, how communication um, relates to a social phenomena. So we will see um, what uh, this is uh, all about in terms of topics of, of specific courses um, later on. Um, we see all um, our, uh, our program as an interdisciplinary program. So we have different perspectives um, viewing um, the same topic. And we have, um, for example, uh, political science, or we have geography, we have sociology, communication studies. All um, these disciplines are treating the topic communication and its role in the Ibero-American societies. So we have a very broad um, variety of um, disciplines viewing the same topic. Uh, all the knowledge uh, you gain um, is always around uh, the communication and societies in Ibero-America and um, from in, in all its dimensions. So what are the core topics actually which uh, will be treated in the, in the master's program? It's uh, basically three topics which are the fundamental um, knowledge areas. We treat um, communication in political and economic spaces. We treat communication and its role for cultures, people. Uh, as well as its interrelations with their um, natural environments. And also a very important part is communication and its social and linguistic um, dimension. And we also see uh, what effects it has on the public sphere and on information society. So the master's program is structured um, in the two years master's program is structured in uh, two sections. Uh, in the first half of the studies, we concentrate on the fundamental and uh, methodological um, competencies. You acquire fundamental knowledge about topics like communication studies and with a special focus, um, for example, on media, on Latin American politics, on migration across all the, um, the American continent, um, and also, of course, languages and discourses and how they influence societies, especially. Topics like um, media science or um, so-called fake news, as you all know, um, are, very, um, are very important in this uh, area also. In this part of the studies, you also get uh, methodological uh, competencies. So you um, get methods as instruments uh, to measure and uh, to evaluate the data in order to get well-founded arguments for how communication influences social phenomena. So you learn about quantitative and qualitative uh, methods. In the second half of the program, um, you deepen your knowledge. Um, you um, see uh, the knowledge in different, from different um, disciplines 
and the disciplines uh, will be converged um, within uh, this part of the studies program. Um, here we also have a lot of co-teaching formats. So um, our teaching stuff um, comes from uh, different disciplinary backgrounds and you will have classes where, for example, two teachers will teach and they come from one from communication studies and the other from political science, for example. So you get the interdisciplinary uh, point of view within the classroom. We also include a lot of guest lectures from external scientists um, because the program is, uh, has a highly um, international orientation. So we also want um, international uh, researchers to be part of the program right away from the start. So all the classes always include um, external um, viewpoints from uh, our partners uh, abroad, especially in, in Latin America. The second part of the, of the study program um, also has the very important part um, in it, the mobility window. Um, in this mobility window, you go abroad, you go to Iberoamerica, um, and you uh, will pass there uh, some time for doing, for doing an internship or a research stay. This mobility window is integrated in the two years course of the study, so you don't have to count on adding this time to your study um, time. So it is within the two years that you will um, have this experience abroad. The where and the what exactly you do during the, this uh, mobility window depends on your choice. You can either choose a research-oriented profile, then you do a research stay um, at a university, for example, or at a research institute. Or if you choose a more application-oriented profile, you will do an internship in an organization or in a company uh, in order to get insights into possible future professional fields. That can be uh, fields like public communication or um, political communication agencies, press and media departments, cultural institutions, etc. So, um, all in one, let's uh, uh, sum this up. You gain expert knowledge um, of the region Iberoamerica, that's Latin America, European countries, but also the contact areas. Um, especially the US, um, you will get highly sensitive to the relationships between communication and society and how communication um, influences um, societies. And you also get a strong experience in international research contexts and in non-academic professional fields. You get um, this experience in both fields, but you can also choose to um, uh, profile, uh, to get a special profile in one of those fields. Um, this, uh, this expert knowledge you can uh, use for careers later on, uh, for example, in international organizations, in NGOs, cultural institutions. You can work in uh, consulting agencies uh, for political communication, public opinion, research institutes, press and media. Or, of course, um, if you choose the research-oriented um, profile, you can work at research institutes, um, like, for example, at universities and further studying uh, communication and its social implications. Um, I guess some of you will be interested also in um, what you need, what prerequisites you need to um, study this program. You need an above average um, undergraduate degree in humanities or social sciences. So we um, define, this is a very broad definitions, definition, um, we uh, admit all the um, disciplines from humanities and social sciences for this uh, program. You need a high proficiency in English, um, at least a C1, and a high proficiency in Spanish, at least a B2. No German is required for this um, studies. And you can provide the, um, the usual known uh, certificates, like the TOEFL, for example, to prove the proficiency. But you can also provide uh, a university entrance qualification if you studied uh, in an English or Spanish-speaking country. Uh, university entrance qualification means, um, for example, uh, a-levels, let's say, or German Abitur, for those of you who, who know this concept. Um, exactly, or if you, um, if you studied an undergraduate um, degree where you had at least 50% of English or 25% uh, of Spanish classes, then this also um, approves for us um, to proving your proficiency in, 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 one, in one of those languages. So let's see the basic information um, about this program. It's a full-time master's program here in Heidelberg um, at the university. It takes up two years, four semesters. It's an English and uh, Spanish-speaking um, language program. So classes will take a place in English and Spanish. 
You also, of course, if you want to, you can choose some classes in German, but that is uh, not required. You get an integrated research stay or internship abroad, um, who will also um, accompany during accompany you during that, uh, the organization also uh, when you are abroad, of course, we're always there for you. The study location, as I said, is Heidelberg University here in Germany, in the middle, well, the south of Germany. Uh, and lectures begin uh, always in winter October, so admission is always for, a, for the winter term. Um, and the application deadlines, I guess, uh, the audience is more uh, international students, so this is uh, June 15. Uh, if there are some, uh, some uh, interested uh, persons of you with a uh, German uh, undergraduate degree, then you can apply until uh, September 15th. If you have any further questions, um, please do not hesitate to ask. Um, we also have a very strong supporting structure for the master's program during the whole course of study, but also before starting the, uh, the master's program. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask anything uh, or just write a mail. I will be very happy to attend. Thank you very much.